Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass is being live streamed. It's being offered for uh, the repose of the soul of Sister Magdalena Olivia. And also a reminder that this evening between 4 and 7 p.m. there will be Eucharistic adoration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord had made. The serpent asked the woman, did God really tell you not to eat from, the, from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, you shall not eat it or even touch it lest you die. But the servant said to the woman, you certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God moving in the garden at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees in the garden. The word of the Lord. Amen. A responsorial psalm. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Let Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Blessed is he whose fault is taken away, whose sin is covered. Blessed the man to whom the Lord impugns no guilt, in whose spirit there is no guile. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. Then I acknowledge my sin to you, my guilt I covered not. I said I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. For this shall every faithful man pray to you in time of stress. Though deep waters overflow, they shall not reach him. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. You are my shelter from distress. You will preserve me. With glad cries of freedom, you will ring, you will ring me round. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Siddim to the Sea of Galilee into the district of Decropolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said, Epata, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ears were open, his speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more they, he ordered them not to, 
the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends, the first reading challenges us as we go and ponder about the relationship between Eve and the serpent. Temptations comes to us in a different way, and each one is unique. But once temptations come to our lives, always can change our way of doing things. And sins can impact people's lives. From an individual person, to the group, to the community, and even to the nation. What does it mean to us? Sin always impacts our lives, our relationship. And that's why today we hear Jesus is here for us to take care of all of us. It's something very strange in the gospel today. Jesus, before he cured this person, he took him separate, just to be with himself trying to do something special for him. What does it mean to us? Jesus meets us where we are. And he knows our struggles and our challenges of life. Your problem is not my problem. Your challenge is not my challenge. But Jesus knows how to tackle and how to deal with our problems and each one in a unique way. How do we go to Jesus? We go with an open arms. We go with an open heart. And we go that we're ready to be cured, to be given the hands of his life. Jesus is telling us today that our brothers and sisters also can bring to Jesus, but at the same time we need to have that relationship with Jesus, you and Jesus personally. Dear friends, I want to challenge all of you. How do you make that kind of relationship with Jesus? Do you recognize that he knows you? Do you recognize that he wants to encounter with you? And do you recognize that your problem and your struggles, he can fix, he can help you, and he can deal with you as he has come and support you? Let us continue to open our hearts and to be ready to ask him for his help and to come forward. And even at the moment when we find that things are not going well, remember, there is someone who can help you to walk through. Who is that? It's only Jesus. Jesus is our way. Jesus is our thoughts. Jesus is our ways. And Jesus is our life. Let us make our life in the presence of Jesus. And as long as we come to him, he always can guide us and give us strength. Amen. Please come. Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us this wonderful day as we continue always to give us strength and healing. And for this we pray. We acknowledge that we are not perfect. And we are sinners, and we come forward to you and give us strength always to ask for your healing power. And for this we pray. We acknowledge that each family and each community has something to struggle in their journey of life. But you have given us this opportunity always to come to you. You are telling us, come to me, your labor and burden, and I will give you rest. And for this we pray for our country and for our church. God, give us strength always to work together and to support one another and for the sake of each one of us. And for this we pray. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good, good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these and created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to due to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, a Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as for your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures save you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we are claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you are death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, in her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Sister Magdalena Oliva, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but with the faith of your church in gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. And we ask if you're watching us live stream to please put a note in the chat box. Let's do it again. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
for reaching us, for reaching me. So I want to ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, to remember that Jesus is present in our journey of life as we reach our brothers and sisters with that healing hand, with love and peace. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks.